हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड जीरो वन नैपसेक प्रॉब्लम ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस दिस नैपसेक प्रॉब्लम इन ग्रीडी मेथड एंड डायनेमिक प्रोग्रामिंग मेथड बट टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन ए ब्रांच एंड बाउंड मेथड यूजिंग ए जीरो वन नैपसेक दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो जीरो वन नैपसेक शुड भी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व बाय यूजिंग ए मेथड कॉल्ड ब्रांच एंड मेथड ब्रांच एंड बाउंड मेथड दैट शुड भी यूजिंग ए विच मेथड ब्रांच एंड बाउंड इन LC method, least cost method. There are three method. I have uh, a FIFO method, LIFO method, and LC method. Today I am going to explain how to solve a least cost method using a branch and bound in zero one knapsack. This problem is zero one knapsack problem. Here, some object are given for each object. Some profits and weights are also there. There are given a profit and weight also there. Now before going to Explain the zero one abstract problem. I will show some example how to solve this method. I will take uh, example as profit as this is ten, this is ten, this is twelve, and another one is eighteen. And weight should be uh, assume two, four, six, nine, one, two, three, and four. There are four given profit and weight. Similarly, we have to solve using a branch and bound method. The objective is. and problem is to fill the begin in those objects so that the total weight in the bag the total weight in the bag should be included and less than or equal to capacity 15 capacity indicates as m is equal to 15 the bag capacity contain as 15 that is m is equal to 15 total n is equal to how much 1 2 3 4 2 there are n is equal to 4 next one more important thing is If you taking any object, if you taking any object of profit, any object, then you must take complete object or don't take it all, since the object should be a maximize. See here, the weight of the object is in a five kg or six kg. So you can't take one kg or two kg. It may, it may, that is. it may be take complete object or don't take that object it indicates that it should be a, in greedy method and dynamic method uh, it, it can be solved by using a minimize problem but here we have to convert the maximize problem into a minimization and here in branch and bound method the problem can be solved by using a negative uh, but in greedy and dynamic we have to solve by using a positive method so the problem is total profit given should maximize so it's a maximization problem this problem can be using a greedy method or dynamic method but here we are solving by using a branch and bound method here the answer should be a maximize by using a negative method by using a negative method negative method indicates it is a minimize only but answer should be in a maximize by using applying a negative concept i will show how to solve this problem yes first of all this is the given profit and this is the weight given m is equal to 15 first you have to take the value of by using a branch and branch and bound method first we have to take one starting with a one and include in a first object before going to start this one now we have to calculate what is the cost and what is the upper bound initially the it should be a infinity In previous problem also we started with the infinity and uh, by using that we have to cut and minimize the value. Next, what is the cost of this one? What is the cost? Now how to calculate the cost? First object, so ten plus ten plus twelve. How much ten? What is the weight? Two, four, and six. How much ten? Twenty, thirty-two. Here six plus four plus Six plus four, ten. Ten plus two, twelve. We can't put nine because ten plus two, twelve. Twelve plus nine, how much? Twelve plus nine is twenty-one. So we can't put because the capacity of the bag is fifteen. So we have to take ten plus ten plus twelve. So how you calculate that one? Eighteen by nine. See here, six plus four, how much? Ten. Ten plus two, twelve. Twelve. What is the capacity of the bag? Fifteen. What is the fifteen minus twelve? Three. So eighteen by nine into three. Nine one the nine. Nine two the eighteen. Three two the six. Ten plus ten plus ten. How much? Thirty two. Thirty two plus six. How much? Cost is minus thirty eight. But here 
in cost method we have to use fractionization fractionization concept but in upper bound we can't use fraction only you have to use numerical so we have to use only this much 10 plus 10 plus 12 how much we have to exclude this one because we can't use fractions 10 plus 10 plus 12 32 so minus 32 because we are using in a negative method so now cost should be indicated as a cost should be indicated as a compared to infinity minus 32 is smaller so we have to this is upper minus 32 we are got this and minus 32 now next we have to move on to the include first object x1 is equal to 1 this is 2 the cost will be similar because minus 32 whatever that we have to put there is no use so we have to put as it is u is equal to minus 32 same next go for this one not included first object should not included so x1 is equal to 0 include indicates 1 not include means 0 this is 3 how to calculate what is the cost what is what is the cost and what is the upper yes now we have to calculate not include in the first object so 10 10 12 here 2 4 6 see here not include of the first object means first object this one so we are not included only we have to calculate this two 10 plus 2 22 6 plus 4 10 so now how to calculate 10 means 15 minus 10 how much remaining 5 12 plus 12 plus 18 by 9 into how much 5 9 ones are 9 9 to the 18 5 to the 10 10 20 30 32 so cost should be a minus 32 now what is the value of upper bound we have to exclude fraction only 10 plus 12 how much 22 that should be a minus 22 we can't cut this one and put minus 32 because it is a smaller compared to minus 22 we can't put now after that after completion next go for second object include second object so what is the cost what is the upper second object includes now this is x2 is equal to 1 what is the cost what is the upper similarly we can't change because it is a as it is we have to put now what is the not include we have to go for not include concept second object this is 4 should now go for not include x2 is equal to 0 what is the cost what is the upper now we have to calculate cost and upper means not include of second object it means 10 10 12 18 by 9 this is plus 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 how much 2 4 6 not include of second object means this is not included only this one 10 plus 12 correct here 2 6 6 plus 2 how much 8 15 minus 8 7 clear so 18 into 7 9 to the 18 7 to the 14 10 20 20 30 34 36 totally cost is minus 36 we can't put because it is a now we have to use what is the upper bound 10 plus 12 22 minus 22 because this is the greater than maximize so we can't put this also now similarly similarly we have to go for next value after this completion next go for which one this is 1 2 3 sorry 1 2 3 this is 4 sorry this is 5 next go for this one x3 in third object should be include what is the cost similarly minus 38 it should not change because it is a simultaneously we are initializing now what is the value this is 6 next not include for this one this is 7 what is the cost and what is the upper not include means x3 is equal to 0 what is not include third object 10 10 12 here 2 4 6 not include of this one it means only 18 by 9 into how much 4 plus 2 how much 6 15 minus 6 15 is the capacity of the bag 15 minus 6 how much 9 so 18 by 9 into 9 9 was the 9 to the 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 18 38 so now we will get the value because see here 15 minus 6 9 capacity 38 and upper value should be upper value how much 10 plus 10 20 clear and upper value should be also 20 plus 38 remaining will be 
10, 10, 20, 20 plus 18, 38. So, minus 38. Now, we will get the both the values should be 38. No, compared to this, this is we have to minus 38. Clear? Now, we complete of all the solution. Now, we have to check. Only the alive problem should be this is alive, this is alive and this is alive. Now, we have to go for this one. Upper bound is how much? Minus 22. We can't put because it is greater. So, we have to kill this node. Kill this node. This is a minus 22. What is the upper bound? Minus, here, minus 38 is there. So, we have to kill this node. We can't go for further. Here also we have to check. Upper bound is minus 32. Here, if you do the value, how much? 10, 10, 12. And if you go for further, x4 including object means how much? 10 plus 10, 12. Totally 6 plus 10, 19, 21 is there. But capacity of the bag is 15, exceeding. If you go further. So this is also, we have to kill the node. Next, go for this one. Minus 38 is there. Okay. We can continue till the end of the uh, value. So, next object is 8. Fourth object should be included. So, cost how much? Upper how much? What is the cost? Same. Similarly, we have to don't change. Minus 38. So, this is 38. Now, next not include for fourth object 0. How do we calculate not include? Here no 10 including including. 10 plus 10 how much? 20 not include means 0. We can't put 10 plus 10. See here 10 plus 10, 20. So cost should be a minus 20. Upper can't go because only 20 is there. Now can't put. So this is also we have to kill the node. Only remaining will get the values. Similar value should be simultaneously we have to find. Here also 38. This is so if you find similar value, then the answer should be a correct. So how what is the value? This is including. This is including and this is including and this is including. So, what is the value? X is equal to include indicates 1. This is 1 and this is 0 and this is include 1. This is the answer. So, we have to using in a 0, 1 method. So, I will repeat again in uh, repeat again the last step. So, if you get the similar answer, we have to verify this one and we can't put this is also we can verify because the we have to check the upper value if not upper value is not satisfied for this answer it should be a kill the node so we have to use this concept so this is the final thing x is equal to 1 1 0 1 this is the 0 1 knapsack method so this is a very important concept uh, go uh, do it uh, do it take a one uh, sample example by yourself and do it again similar problems so these are all for the today's class thank you one and all for listening this video this is very important question please do it again in your home thank you